on Instagram or other forms of social media access. And remember, you can log on to our website. And if you want to give charitably, you can do that through our Cash App or Venmo. And right now, before we get started, we want to open up in a word of prayer. We know that we have been cautioned to wear masks by our governor. We will comply with that. As well as some among us might have fallen sick. Some people you know, I know I have some friends that have fallen sick that I played ball with in college. So we ask that you please bow your head with us today as we open up in a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you. God, we thank you for another opportunity to be here. God, we thank you for the love and protection that you've shown to us. God, we thank you because we still understand that you have the final say-so over social injustice, over a pandemic, God, but you still stand alone. And God, we ask that you have your way through this time, God, that you got everyone's attention. Let us have an ear to hear what thus says the Lord into the church, into the body of Christ. God, we ask you to continue to bless those ones that might be fighting to recover from this pandemic financially, emotionally, spiritually, God. We ask you to bless the families that might have lost loved ones, God. Especially the service family, Lord, continue to minister to them in their time of agreement, God. We ask you to continue to bless the very people that's under this house, God. Continue to help us to operate in the spirit of excellence. And God, everyone under the sound of our voice, God, we ask that you to speak to them in a supernatural way, God. Knowing that you didn't orchestrate them to be here out of coincidence, but God, you may have changed minds. You may have stopped programs. You may have had them to click on the website just for a moment, God, to let them hear from you. And God, we forever thank you. We forever praise you. We are forever magnify you. We are forever lift you up because we still believe that you have the final say. So continue to bless the shepherd of this house, God. Continue to bless him with his influence and wisdom, God. And let us help us to uplift the vision of the kingdom that you set before us. In the powerful and the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. And today our scripture reading is going to be coming out of the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter and the 28th verse. And I'll read down to verse 31. And I ask you to please stand with me, whether you be at home in your living room, in the bonus room, in the bedroom, God. We ask that you stand with us. That's just the custom that we do here out of the reverence of the word of God. And it reads, Has thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, neither is there no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the young shall faint and be weary, and the young men should utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. May God bless the hearers, the readers, and the doers of his most precious word. And then this time we ask the praise team come forth, and we're going to sing a little bit, and let's receive them for hearty. Amen. Oh, what a day of rejoicing there will be. 
still serve a great God. If you believe that you ought to give God a hand praise right now. I know we're going through some things, but we still serve a great God. And I believe that with all my heart. And as we ask that you continue to uh, tarry with us as we come to the best part of the service, and that is the spoken word of God. And before we get that, we want to remind you that we do have a prayer on Monday nights, which you can call in. That information is on our a website, you can call in and ask for prayer, and someone will be there to pray with you and minister to you. And if this ministry has been a blessing to you and you want to give financially, you can also get that information off our website with our cash app as well as our Venmo. But at this time, we ask you to continue to stay with us because we come to the best part of any service, and that is the spoken word of God. And today is going to be given by our very own the pastor and the beloved shepherd of this house. And none other than the person of Bishop Isaac Williams, Senior. Let's receive him with a hearty amen.
God bless you. God bless you. On this Sunday morning, God has certainly made a way. He took us through the sea and the unseen. One writer said, if it had not been for the Lord that's on our side, then where would we be? But because he lives, you live and have your being. I bless the Lord right now. I give him no shout. And I feel my help right now. I feel my help. Thank you, Lord. I love you right now. I appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been good to us. And you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And as I look back over my life Lord, Lord. and thank things yes. for I can surely say that I've been blessed. Thank you, Lord. Gracious God, in the name of Jesus, let us down in the depths of your word. Lord, I come meek and humble as I know how. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I come before you as, as a picture, as a picture, dust before found, waiting to be filled. Speak, Lord. Your servant here. Send the anointing. Send the anointing that that makes preaching easy. Let our tongue be as the pen of the ready writer. Isha Madarosa. Ishada. Isha Shama. Have your way, Lord. Let us down in the depths of your word. Oh God, ask me. Have your way. Let your will be done. For your will is our will. Let your will be done. And I'll praise you and I'll magnify you and give you the glory. Let me decrease and you increase. Speak, Lord. Your servant here. We do say praise the Lord to everyone. You that are out there, we are live streaming. Amen. Coming into your homes, into your dining room, into your home to bring to bring you a word from the Lord. We're going to go to Psalms 27. Psalms 27, verse number 13 and 14. And Psalms 34. Psalms 34. Twenty-seven and thirteen. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Fourteen says, "Wait on the Lord and be of good courage." And she shall strengthen down heart. Wait, I say of the Lord. Wait, I say on the Lord. Psalms 34 says, 
I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And his praise is continually be in my mouth. Uh huh. I'm gonna skip just a little bit to three. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. Number four said, "I sought the Lord." Good God Almighty! I sought the Lord, and He and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Hallelujah to God. Nineteenth verse. Now draw my thought. Many are the affliction. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord delivered. Delivered him out of them all. He that keepeth all his bones, not one of them was broken. Many of the affliction, many of the affliction of the righteous, but God do it, delivered him. This was the talk. The time when David was fleeing for his life. David, praise the Lord, was running from Saul. I feel my help, y'all. And David took shelter, a refuge among the Philistines. David changed even his behavior. David seemed to act if he was a different person. Within unnoticed, I, I tried to disguise himself. Uh, is that right? Uh, but praise the Lord, he was in the midst. Praise the Lord of the people that amen defeated the lion. But if you know something, brother, somebody, I don't care where you go, somebody gonna know who you are. And amen, it wasn't long as somebody took notice and said, amen, this is the one that slew the child. And the king of Gaza. Y'all ain't gonna let me preach here. They put David out. Am I right about it? Thank you, Jesus. But I stop by to tell somebody if you just wait on the Lord and be of good courage. The Bible, the Bible says. I strengthen your heart. Am I right about it? Somebody tell you that many, that many are the fiction. And I feel like preaching now. But God told me to tell you it's worth the wait. Y'all ain't gonna let me preach now. I don't know how long you've been waiting, but I'm talking to somebody right now. Don't pull the trigger. Pull the trigger too quick. I hear the Lord saying, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And I feel my help, y'all. Stop by to tell you the way I say on the law. Thank you, Jesus. Stop by to tell you to stand still and know that I'm gone. I feel my head, y'all. God told me to tell you to wait on the law. Somebody. Yeah. 
affliction to be afflicted with pain and sorrow to be afflicted is uncomfortable am I right about it to be afflicted it don't make you feel good it's an uncomfortable area y'all ain't like the preacher you can
of your back. I pray healing. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead and lay your hands on your own back. And use your hand as an antenna. Use your hand as a conduit. In the name of Jesus, loose right now. By your stripes, we'll heal. And he hastened to stand by that word. I was wounded for your transgression. Left arm. You can't get it above your shoulder. In the name of Jesus. Ushana. Loose heel. Come, Shama. In the name of Jesus. I bless you today. I bless you. Wait. I say on the Lord. Yeah, go get somebody and tell them to the preacher's on. Thank you, Lord. And the preacher says, many of the affliction, many of the affliction of the righteous that God has delivered them out of them all. All you have to make sure that you are righteous and it's a done deal to God to stand by his word. That was a relevant word this morning. Wait and be of good courage. Don't be so absent to make that decision. God told me to tell you it's late in the evening and the sun is going down. Waiting on the Lord. They were spending down hard. God bless you. God bless you and God bless you and heaven ever smile upon you. This is Zion of the Room Apostolic Church. The church where God leads the people and where everybody is somebody here in Zion. I can't see you, but I see you in the spirit. Y'all put your hands together and look at your husband, your wife, and just tell them, wait, it'll be worth the wait. Yeah, yeah, just like that. camera people, especially Sister Sharon Huddleston, amen, they had worked work so diligently with us and helped us along the way. Thank God for our praise singers, male sisters, amen, also Brother Tyrone, even Tyrone Hogan, amen, provided, amen, the music, the singing on today. Thank God for those male Sawyer's praise the Lord, that opened up. Brother William, they, they taught Sunday school. Amen. We would thank God for Brother Bass being here. He will be here. Sister Judy is here. Our drummer, praise the Lord, and for something, thank God, our minister of music. Amen. Minister Jackson. Thank God for all of you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. See you next week. See you next week. We have a Bible study coming up this Wednesday. Uh, I need to walk on. We got a word, we got a word, we got a word. I'm going to tell you, I feel like I could preach again. 
but I know dinner is in the stove. So God bless you, have a smile. Love you, love you, God bless you, have a sweet.